I'm gonna go do some push-ups. <laughs> you feel like you gotta, yeah. well, you gotta run, the, right? You gotta well, run up some stairs. Here, I'll run up our stairs Oh, and here. you got a shadow box. Yeah. yeah. I'll run up our stairs here. We have, the whole two stairs. We have two stairs. <laughs> Ready? Ready, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> shadow box, shadow box, shadow box. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hey, you know, you work up a good one for the people at home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let that be a, a message to you. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> oh, jeez. You, you feeling tough? No, because I'm literally right not now? a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling tough as nails right now? Yeah, I'm just. Okay. You know, I showed a little speed there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. With the jacket on? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the latest season of Tough as Nails is off and running, and the challenges are hard as ever. Your host, Phil Crazy. Kogan, has a front row seat to all the action. He's joining us live with a preview of tonight's episode. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hey, Phil. Uh, yeah, listen, if, if you're going to test your, um, your Tough as Nails uh, attributes, you got to get down and do some burpee push-ups. That's the test <laughs> that we give all our contestants. Phil, let me tell you right now. Uh, I am not cut out for that show. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The way you handled those three stairs looks like you're ready to go. <laughs> Wait, Phil, and there were only two. Yeah, I just made it look like three. I'm that, I'm that uncoordinated. That is so funny. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah. Okay, so Tough as Nails, uh, this season getting ready to kick off. First off, we want to talk to you about Meryl Tangestall. She uh, resides in our area. She was from season two. Absolute rock star. We hear that you're a fan. Huge fan. Um, as a matter of fact, I just wrote the foreword for her book. She, oh. she, uh, we, we, I feel honored to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, an absolute treat having her on the show. For those people who, who don't know, uh, Meryl flew uh, B-52s, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and they are um, the, the Dragon Lady. Um, and yeah, very, very difficult uh, machine to fly. Um, and she's just somebody who epitomizes what it means to be uh, tough as nails. And we were really honored to have her on the show. Yeah. She is incredible. When I see her, when I see the people on the show, I always find it amazing because we think of athletes like LeBron James or someone as being exceptional. But these people on this show are they're exceptional in every sense of the term. And I'm thinking, man, these folks are just walking around me in society yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's the, the, a big part of the show. It's real people in real life who are real tough. Mm -hmm. And most of us come from pretty humble beginnings. I know I do. Um, my you know, ancestors are coal miners, gold miners, builders, farmers. And they're all around us, these tough as yeah. nails people. They don't necessarily get a chance to be in the limelight and, and to go out on a football field and primetime network television and play for the NFL. But these people are tough. These men and women are the people that keep the country uh, running. Well, so and so we selected uh, 12 of the best from across the country. They come from Hawaii all the way across to the East Coast and everywhere in between. They're diesel mechanics. Um, they're heavy duty uh, equipment operators. They work for the unions and, and iron workers, they're carpenters. And we've selected the best of the best to come together to compete to find out who is the toughest of them all? And what makes Tough as Nails different is that in, in addition to having a competition to find out who is the toughest, we also have a team competition. So nobody goes home. If you get kicked out of the individual competition, you stay on the show yeah. all the way to the end of the season and you compete in a team competition. And that part of, of the show has really resonated with fans because there's great opportunity for redemption. And most people... 11 out of the 12 are going to make their money in the team competition. They're not yeah. going to be the Tough as Nails champion. And really, the, the competition itself, the the, um, the challenges and where you guys have them do these challenges really sings for the show. Yeah, so we, we decided that rather than building a set like a, you know, like an obstacle course or uh, go to a studio and build like set pieces, we'll go to a farm. Mm -hmm. We'll go to uh, Mount Baldy, as you just saw, where there's a, a, a ski facility. And in the off season, there's a lot of really hard, tough maintenance work that has to take place at altitude, you know, 10,000 feet up there at Mount Baldy. Or if you're a Marine on, and you're training at Red Beach, or yeah. if you're in a, a factory and you've got, you're working with, with iron, welding, you're on a farm, whatever that location is, we plug into real job sites and then create a challenge in that job site rather than building stuff. So there's an authenticity to it. Uh, that I think has resonated with 
with our fans of the show. This this show is gritty, it's grimy, it's it's the it's the antithesis of the shiny floor and the and yeah, the bling yeah. and the glitz and the people wanting to be rich and famous and the best singer and the next big designer and you know the the next whatever. This is real people, real life, real tough, uh, celebrating the people that keep this country running every single day. So there's a bit of a uh, it's a little gritty and grimy, I would have to say. Uh, Phil, last time we talked, we mentioned how great your Zoom setup is. But today, with the fireplace lit behind you, it is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Room Raiders. <laughs> well, uh, I, I have to say that I, I wish I could lay claim to it, but uh, the director of photography on Tough as Nails is living with uh, us right now as we prepare to shoot season four. Yeah. And so uh, he heard that I was doing this this morning. He's like, uh, let me give you a little help with the lighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. That is great. Phil, thanks so much for your time this morning. Uh, Tough as Nails on Wednesdays on CBS. You can also watch it streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Always a pleasure. Yes, thank you so much. All right, good step. Also, uh, Meryl's going to be on the show Friday with Lisa oh. talking about her new book. Those so, two will become thick as yeah. thieves oh, as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good.